Who is the A24 of fashion? That's the question we are here to answer today. But you may be asking, who is A24? I have been living under a rock, please tell me. Well, A24, they're a movie distribution company. Uh, think modern classics like Midsommar. You know, people who like, it's not Midsummer. it's Midsommar. Uh, Ex Machina, Good Time, right? So some of the best of the best recent American films, okay? They are a cultural powerhouse of a film distribution company, something that is exceedingly rare. Like, I, I don't think I can think of another movie company in the modern era that has as much cultural relevance as A24 has. And finally, they are also kind of fashion upstarts thanks to these crazy merch drops that, that they do and high-profile collaborations with brands like Online Ceramics. Now, our goal today is to find out who is the, the A24, A24 of, of fashion. fashion. But in order to do that, we need the criteria. We need to know what makes something like A24. It needs to be highly relevant, okay? It needs to be consistent with a recognizable style. Uh, you know, it needs to be a high overall quality level. And maybe finally, needs good curation with variety, but also a clear point of view. So who in fashion does all of these things as well as A24 does? Is there anybody? I have two branching paths for you here. Two different, you know, meandering walkways for us to go down here and it depends on how much you actually like a24 and the work that they do and the movies that they put out because one option here is uh i don't know a little insulting maybe the other very very laudatory so uh if you think a24 is maybe like fine but is overall like a high sheen mainstream version of more daring art house cinema then this next one may be the answer. Heliot Emile, what a name, right? Is an absurdly clean techwear slash like darkwear hybrid brand with a really sharp focus on product design. Okay, they they saw Alix ten seventeen Alix nine SM by Matthew Williams. They saw those roller coaster buckles and they were like, we should do that, but with everything let's go to the hardware store and buy everything silver and polish it and polish it and polish it and then use it to like fasten stuff on clothing and then sell it for lots of money so much like a24 heliot emile they have like a focus on a darker aesthetic but it's done in a very clean and digestible way. However, that's a double-edged sword because much like A24's detractors might say, it's potentially lacking something under the surface and lacks authenticity compared to the designers that inspired them. Like Alix. Okay, definitely Alix. They have really, really took a lot of inspiration there. Okay. Now, I hate to do this. I, I really, really do. But I also, I guess I don't because here we go. But just like take a look at Heliot Emile's founders. Listen, these are fuckboys. Okay, not avant-garde style icons as they their brand is purported to be. They look like the average clientele at an Amiri boutique in Miami, not the heads of a forward-thinking luxury techwear brand. They look like, like you're in Sweden, and these are the guys that are about to ask you where the, the marshmallow concert is, okay? I have much more respect for A24 than that. So for me, Elliot Emile is not the answer. They are not the A24, A24 of fashion, fashion, but it does fit a lot of the criteria, certainly. Now, the other path for our answer to who is the A24, A24 of, fashion of fashion is the answer if you really like A24's work, which I do generally. So I think this answer will be a bit closer than Elliot Emile. So here's our new hypothesis. Chrome Hearts is the, the A24, A24 of, of fashion. fashion. Chrome Hearts is a decades-old biker brand that has somehow put themselves in a class of their own, both through price, right, and exclusivity, you know, and also like materials, craft, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. As my friend recently said on the Brave New Wear channel right here on YouTube, the only other comparable brand to Chrome Hearts is probably Hermes, creators of the highly exclusive and expensive Birkin bag, okay? So let's see if Chrome Hearts fits our A24 criteria. First, 
like A24, Chrome Hearts is highly relevant, right? Loved by both hype beasts and billionaire Saudi princes alike. Chrome Hearts also has a similarly dark aesthetic, not unlike the edgy neo-horror style that A24 has made themselves famous for. The style is also highly recognizable. A chunky gothic ring or leather cross patch are unmistakably Chrome Hearts. The quality of Chrome Hearts work is unparalleled, right? Just as A24 apparently take great pains not to release subpar movies, Chrome Hearts is known for incredible materials like leather, sterling silver, and gold. Gold. There is only one point where Chrome Hearts falls short on this test. They do not have the variety of offerings that A24 does, okay? Listen, I know, Chrome Hearts, they make uh, Rolls Royces and Converses and tobacco pipes out of sterling silver, all right? And sure, A24 is known for uncomfortable horror, but they're also just as likely to put out a weirdo masterpiece like Swiss Army Man or a random, mediocre Julia Louis-Dreyfus dramedy. So maybe we've been looking at this all wrong. Maybe there is no single brand that can claim the title of the, the A24, A24 of, fashion. of fashion. But that doesn't mean there's no answer, because I think the, the A24, A24 of fashion, of fashion is, is Dover Street Market. Dover Street Market. If you're unfamiliar with Dover Street Market, or DSM, it is the retail arm of the Comme des Garçons brand. So there's a Dover Street Market in New York, LA, London, and many, many more. It is a retail store, a multi-brand boutique. Of course, Dover Street Market stocks all of the CDG brands from the lowest level like CDG Play, you know, the little hard eye guys that are so cute that everyone like dunks on, and it goes all the way up to the big boys, like the mainline Comme des Garçons and Comme des Garçons en plus, okay? I just like spit a little there, en plus. The French, they must spit a lot when they speak. However, however, they don't just stock Comme des Garçons brands. They also have a lot of other stuff, like a lot, okay, a lot. Heaven by Marc Jacobs, sure. Craig Green, absolutely. Prada, you know it, okay? So many brands at Dover Street Market. So let's go down our list of criteria here again. Like A24, DSM is incredibly relevant. It's often listed as the best place to shop in New York, as well as the other cities they exist in. For fashion-y people, it's like a required stop to go in every season and check out the new installations. Like A24, DSM has a consistent and recognizable style, right? By always having that core of Comme des Garçons brands, you have a great through line point of view, and then the dozens of other brands around the edges add a beautiful bit of color to the offerings. Like A24, DSM has a high overall quality level. Do they stock trash tier merch brands like CDG, 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 forever and ever, and like uh, uh, Sky High Farms? Listen, don't hate on me. I know they're like doing like sustainability stuff, but it's still trash tier merch. Okay, listen, sure, they do stock those brands. They do. But... A24 has put out some stinkers as well, okay? I hate to break it to you. However, it is generally seen that if you're stocked at Dover Street Market, you're the real deal as a designer. Now, finally, like A24, DSM has great curation while also having variety. That's what was missing from the Chrome Hearts hypothesis. Now, think of it like this, okay? The Comme des Garçons brands, as well as other close relatives like, you know, I don't know, Undercover, Margiela, Junio Watanabe, some of those are closer relatives than others, so many more. They're similar to the A24 we're all familiar with, right? Hereditary and The Witch, right? All those things. But, 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 then Dover Street Market also stocks Gucci and Rick Owens, and Martine Rose. That's like this stuff A24 distributes that doesn't feel super A24, like, um, I don't know, Moonlight and Room. Not The Room, just Room. You know, that, that weird movie about the, the messed up stuff that happens. Ugh. So that's it. I'm feeling good. We figured it out. Dover Street Market is the A24, A24 of fashion. fashion. That sounds like a high snobiety article title. We've made a full circle here. We really figured something out, okay? And if all this sounded interesting to you, 
make sure you get subscribed so you've got future videos in your feed. Uh, like, comment, do all that stuff that helps me in the algorithm, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.